Hello everyone, today I will show you um, some tips and tricks to make full use of the pre-university calculus course and I'll also show you how far I've gotten along with week 3 and week 4 and the planning for the rest of the couple of free weeks until the actual CST test is. <laughs> So first of all, I really recommend, if you haven't watched it yet, to watch the first video um, that I've made. And here I explain all the, the deadlines um, in the admission process. And I'll also um, show you um, all the topics that you can learn for. So it's uh, quite a good summary for the whole entrance exam process. So the first tip I want to give you when um, doing the course is when you don't understand anything you can ask um, the, for example your teacher or your parents but if they don't know you can always ask on mathforums.com um, it's very easy to use and it's almost guaranteed that you'll get an answer within 30 minutes which is um, a reasonable answer which will help you understand the subject matter um, how to use is this that you need to create a profile um, I'm already logged in, but uh, it's probably around here that it says create an account or log in. So you can create an account, you'll come to this page. Um, you need to go to forums, then you can choose the, the subject that you're working on. Um, it's probably in high school math because everything in the course is about revising stuff from high school. Um, for example, geometry is one of the subjects. You click geometry and you can ask a question you can put the title here you can also add uh, pictures of the actual or screenshots of the actual exercise that you don't understand and you can get all the help uh, you want because um, everything in this course is probably a revision from high school and there might be some subjects that you find pretty easy and the course is a bit too slow for you um, but you need to make sure that you don't miss anything so you it's, I advise to watch everything um, but to speed things up you can always um, up the speed of the videos this will actually um, well speed up everything um, it's still understandable at one and a half times speed um, but it just speeds up the course a lot quicker if you already understand everything so my next tip is to actually start planning in all the, the stuff you have to learn um, up until the actual test um, keep in mind to have some access time so your goals are actually reachable um, and you have finished everything until uh, when, when you need to make the test so I advi advise to have everything to complete everything one week before the actual CST test um, also handy to keep in mind is to not um, plan in two big parts of uh, study sessions because um, these may give you some sort of uh, burnout and will lower your motivation so it's better to just have a couple of small learning sessions instead of one big one at the beginning of the week um, which causes you for the next the part of the week um, to not have any motivation to actually start studying again the last tip I want to give you to actually make full use of the pre-university calculus course um, is to to start just with um, to everything in chronological order so start with week one finish all the theory in each of the paragraph um, then do the training sequence but then leave the summary and the homework um, for at the end of the course um, so that in the last week before the CST test you can actually do all the homework exercises and revise again and see which parts you understand and which you don't because it is this course takes eight weeks um, so in week one the stuff you learned in week one you probably forgotten a lot of things um, when you're at week eight so I'd, uh, I'd advise to just leave the homework um, to not do it until week eight then I'd also like to ask you all to um, leave some comments if you also have other 
tips or tricks to help the other students to get into the computer science and engineering bachelor course at TU Delft and so we can all help each other to prepare the best way possible. So I have uh, finished um, the theory part of week 3 and 4. Um, I still have to do the training sequence of week 4. Um, some discoveries I have made um, while studying um, the equations part um, is that the training sequence take um, quite a lot of time um, especially compared to week 1 and 2 um, it takes up more time um, because the, it's more difficult to correctly do all the exercises so another thing um, that I still stand by which I have said in my earlier videos is that the explainer videos are of pretty good quality and uh, very understandable the English is uh, very good um, and they are very handy um, they explain enough so you can uh, do all the exercises um, of that are given after the video um, so that's still great uh, even in week 3 and 4 one of the things um, in this course which I'm less positive about is the catch the error parts they do sometimes in the theory um, they are just videos um, I mostly just skip them to the end so it says it's completed but I don't actually uh, participate in them um, I don't think they are very useful um, and they you don't really learn a lot of, of them um, just the theory parts um, like here and mostly the first videos that's enough to learn um, especially if you're low on time just skip the catch the errors you don't miss anything so my planning for the next couple of weeks um, for next week I will complete week 4 I just have to do the training sequence but beware that these training sequences can take longer than you expect I um, also try and finish week 5 um, a part of that I am also starting uh, on the logics part it's on here um, you can see the selection procedure uh, website on TU Delft if you go to brochure 2 and you go down until you see this textbook you can click on this link and you'll get to this site where you can start learning for logic you need to have this one not that one this one um, you can download the pdf and it will open in the browser we'll have to learn uh, chapter 2 except the ones with a star next to them um, i have calculated that it is about 45 pages or 50 pages um, the total of chapter 2 everything we have to learn um, so I'll start with about 20 pages doing next week and then the week after I'll do the other 20 so the week after next week I also finish with week 6 week 7 and then there's one week left in which I will revise everything I will repeat the homeworks for all the weeks and I will also revise this and that is the, then the planning until the 18th of February when the admission test is so a quick reminder to also watch my first video in which I will uh, summarize the whole application process and all the deadlines and also the matching and selection what it entails everything um, I also want to say that you can ask any questions um, in the comments if you if something is unclear. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.